sewing aspect of the pinafore. I'm going to, this is school uniform. You hardly know the front or the wrong side. So this this is where I'm going to use for the right side. So I'm going to fold it, tracing where I launch it. Okay, fold it, and I'm going to seal from that point one inch. I'm going to stop here, and that with that cut across everything I'm going to do here. One I'm going to stop. That's exactly what I'm going to do throughout where it is being launched to this one. I join it together this way. And I will seal from that place one inch. I will make that. Now, having sealed it like that, the next thing for me is to, is to fold it I mean, is to hold it like this and equalizes it. What I'm going to do is to make it equal. I will equal it, equalize it, making sure that this part is not longer than this part. So the center point of this is where I'm going to fix this and I will seal. Okay. It. and this is what will be also done to the the other one to make it a complete and um, and uh, to make it a complete and uh, down aspect of the pinafore now, this aspect is the top of the pinafore now this one is the back and the other time when i cut out um the back, the back side and the front side, I cut it 2-2. Two, two. That is, the back side has another one, which I'm going to use to fold it out. This is the back side. So, it, I cut it 2-2. Two, two. Okay, this for the back. And this for the front side of the top of the pinafore. So... Why it is two, I told you it's going to be used to fold it in. Now I'm going to take pick one of these, that is the front side of the top. Then one of these, and I will now join it from the shoulder. We also seal. You see, I've joined the front and the back. This one, the front and the back, have joined it. So we have two pieces. Now, the next thing is for me to. to place it like this. Now, I'll also place this one. Which means front for front to turn it out, back for back to turn it out. And I'm going to seal right from this place like this. Round. 
so that's the next stage so so i will now place this one on it this is front and this is back i will now seal round like that like this i'm going to fix it this way and i will seal round now having sew it round the next thing for me is to launch it next is for me to turn it in deep turn this one in and i will also turn this one in so this is what i have at the end now the next thing now is to work on this side because i'm going to close it up now i've put it inside i will now turn it This is one side one side has been done as you can see so I'm left with the second side now this side so I'm going to bring it out this way and I will now turn it this way so that it matches the line the seal line and now we also sew as you can see This is what I have at the end of the day. And everything is in. Everything is in. The next thing is for me to high on it now. To give it a smooth look. So high on it. It remains the seal of the band. And I told I said earlier on that um the length of the waist is gives me 27 so if i measure this i will have 27 for the band Twenty seven. so this is what i have 27 for the band so what i'm going to do now i'm going to seal from here from here from I, I, i'm going to measure three inches three inches so i will start my sewing right from this place like this downward downward to this place so let's go and to i, I have an is is good that you you gone your stay with it so that it will give you a very uh, stick look it will stand very well the texture of this um, fabric is hard it's okay
Now, having sewed it round, but leaving this side, I'm going to turn it out now. Now, the next thing is for me to um, iron it. I will also turn out this place and I will iron. Is to insert my band. Now I'm going to start from the back aspect. I place one here, then I place another one at the back. So the top will be in the middle, in between of the two bands. So I will now measure two inches. extra two inches from here to here I will measure two inches yes so this is where I'm going to start my seam this place so let me start this way To leave, I'm going to measure from here four inches to this place. I will close this place up before I will now fix the front aspect of the top. Fix. I will open it and I will insert Having see it round, as you can see, the next thing is to turn it out, turn it out. Turn it out, I'm going to seal this edge straight. The edge has been sealed to this end, right from the beginning. Of the edge so the next thing for me now is the down aspects of of the down of down aspects so what I'm going to do is to overlap it the right side to the right side close up side has been closed up now for the second side I'm going to measure seven inches from here and we measure seven inches or 7.5 inches I have 7.5. I'm going to notch this place. The essence of this is, is because this is where I'm going to fix my zip, my zipper, rather. Up from this edge to this very point. I want to fix my zipper. I have invisible zipper here. So 
so i'm going to fix now now the fit the zipper has been fixed as you can see so the next thing now the gown so i have my complete my pinafore so I'm going to fold this one in like this and I will place this on it Let me bring it out first So I fold it like this and I place this on the exact point and going to sew it be mindful of this line it has been completed so this is what I have at the end of the day okay this is what I have so I have my band completed so the next thing now is for me to forge the the down house bed. right from the and uh, treading treading line so that's where i'm going to start from close up so this is what I have at the end of this so this is the end of this video thanks for watching for more updates you can subscribe to my channel you can share and like